All right. I want uh, those of you who don't have an opportunity to have an Indian site or uh, to collect artifacts to join the hunt here. 25 yards forward, I have marked a great artifact. As usual in Indian Trace, I have a, a handful of good artifacts that I have found. We're in the land of courts. We're in site four. But I want you to join the hunt with me as we go over there. And I wouldn't even doubt that we find an outstanding artifact on the way. Wouldn't even doubt it. But I'm just going to check the bottom side of this hill, if you will. They're doing gentle throw of the whole place. Turn in the old beans and what have you. And uh, it's a deep throw. So it's uh, you just got to walk along and handle it. It's chunky, but uh, they've thrown a lot of rocks around too because uh, this is where they live. This is where the ancient North American Indians lived, at least one of the millions of sites from here to California. Hope everybody's doing okay over there, or out there, excuse me. Do you all remember uh, when uh, a fella named Spike was posting videos? Just sedalias that were just outstanding. Great pieces. He's, he's, I haven't seen him post anymore lately, but he said one time that one of his sites, he called it the garden, uh, had produced five, excuse me, 5,000 artifacts from just one, one area, which I'm not surprised by the number because I know the amount of years, probably two, three, possibly 4,000 years of occupation uh, that were going on on that site. It was a prime place, I guess, for water and for game and what have you. And uh, listen, that's that's a short amount of time compared to how long they were populating. That is the ancient Stone Age cultures of North America. See all this stuff? I'm trying to get up to my marker up there, but uh, since I'm done, I'm, I'm certainly not going to get distracted. Uh, these last two video number series is just nuts. Just nuts. So, uh, let's see. It, it looks to be a Guilford up here, but I, I found a lot of other great quartz stuff, and I know people like quartz. What did I just see? Have you ever just thought you just saw something? And your brain doesn't register it until you're, uh... I could have sworn I saw a round stone. What on earth? Is my brain playing tricks on me? Maybe. I don't even know where it was. I did. So that's craziness to me. Look at that. See, my marker is right there. Look at this. Roundness in the hole. Look at that my digging right there. Wow, that's absolutely perfect form. Don't know what it is yet. Look at how it fits in the hand. Very little wear work along the edges. Very little, very, very little. But it was a tool. This is not an accident right here. This. These are not out here. There's not in tiles, they're not in cricks around here. And I've been in and out of the cricks in the ponds. 
could be some type of callous stone, I think. They needed a stone like this often, I, and I really believe it. I've seen modern mountain men conditioning hides, and they use a stone like these uh, with the brains of the animal and just work it all into the hide, and they got to let that happen. And there's, a, I guess, a physical transformation that happens to condition the hide. Now, that's awesome. I don't know what it is, actually. I do know it's an artifact. So it holds a special place. Where's my, oh, there it is. All right, we gotta get done here. This is what I saw on the ground. I'm gonna put this up with the others. Looks to be the tip just simply made. I see sparkles in this. Uh, it's a strange type of uh, slate or rock that has sort of like mica bits in it. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a geologist. I don't know. We'll check that out in a second. I mean, look. Get to join the hunt out here. It's as beautiful as it sounds. Really is a, a great morning. Look what I've been finding. There's that stone, but look at this. Quartz. Long Guilford. Look at these two little pieces. Just missing the air on this. And this piece, look at this workmanship they can do on the quartz. Little Marl Mountain. big base I actually think some of these they they made and they were they were they broke in the well maybe it didn't break in the in the making I don't know some I guess they had to break while they were making and discarded them look at the relief on the back of that it's a great base nevertheless look at the Guilford piece of pottery. What's cool about this pottery, look at the top edge of it. Look at the top edge of it. So as you can see, just some good finding going on. I mean, with this rock included, it's crazy, right? Now, we're done. Just an honor video for the last three. There's your relief. Here in eastern North Carolina, eastern central, I should say, and a lot of guys find these kind of lancelite points. They wonder what they're called here. It sure as you live, they're all Guilfords. This is pretty much a Guilford. Slightly tending to a Yuma, but Guilford straight base. Like this one here. This is a Guilford Yuma, as I told many people. Just concave on the base. I don't know if you can pick it up. And it's broken just a little. And this one is... Uh, Almost a Guilford round, maybe. I don't know if it's broken or not. There's your relief. Nice material on that. All right, everyone. I'm glad you got to join the hunt, check out these North American Indian artifacts. Man, they haven't been seen in thousands and thousands of years. Hope everybody finds out there. Be well.